The universe is like a professionally adjusted mechanism of a status Swiss watch, where everything is interconnected. If one part fails, the whole structure will collapse. But the difference is that the masters who create watch mechanisms know everything about them, while earthly scientists know almost nothing about the universe. It only seems that astronomers have already studied a lot. The illusion is destroyed as soon as new mysteries appear. Hello. In deep space, at a distance of 250 million light-years from Earth heights, a gravitational anomaly of monstrous proportions, which a person is unlikely to be able to imagine even remotely, it is most likely a supercluster of many galaxies. Its weight is approximately 105 masses of the Milky Way. The anomaly is epically named the Great Attractor. The supergroup in its impact on the surrounding galaxies is similar to the Gamelin Pied Piper, the witchy sound of the Pied Piper, which once irrevocably took away from the city of Gamelin unhappy children. Here and the Great Attractor, akin to the mythical Pied Piper, pulls the blanket of the universe, luring the Milky Way and other galaxies into a terrible vortex. But what is the structure so insistently calls galaxies to themselves? Is it possible to consider it? Scientists have done a relatively good job of studying the visible parts of the sky, but scrutinizing the attractor is prevented by an obstacle that is difficult to bypass, our own Milky Way. The super collapse lies in the avoidance zone, an area that is hidden from Earth observers by the disk of our galaxy and dust clouds, do not allow you to adequately consider what is further away. Therefore, standard methods do not work here. But using X-rays and infrared rays, astronomers have hardly seen the silhouette of this gravitational monster magnetically attracting all that is within a radius of 250-300 million light-years and more. According to modern estimates, the Great Attractor contains about 650 galaxies. It turns out that in addition to intrasystem gravitational influences, we are also affected by its monstrous attraction. Moreover, scientists have calculated that this factor accounts for 44% of the total power of all attractive forces. The verdict is that all galaxies known to us have been moving for billions of years, heading towards the Great Attractor. Where is the giant attractor? While the navigator for spaceships has not been invented, the exact coordinates of the object are unknown, but the approximate location is quite clear. The constellation Nogolnik in the Southern Hemisphere. In principle, the universe is not surprised by superclusters. We ourselves are in one called Virgo, which in turn belongs to the Laniakea group. Do you think the calculations are over? Well, it's not. All the named objects tend to the Norma cluster and only then to the Great Attractor. Such a slender, perfectly thought out chain. Recently, an interesting paradox was discovered when scientists tried to form a computer model of the nascent universe taking into account all known forces and influences. The result was that no attractor appeared on the scheme. That is, it simply should not appear. But to deny its existence is to disbelieve one's own eyes. This mystery will not let astrophysicists sleep well for a long time. What are the functions of the great attractor? Many scientific men come to the idea that this strange place a kind of coordination center in which gradually from all corners of the universe matter flows. It has been accumulating for a long time, merging into large groups like dust behind a dresser. And then one day the hour X came, matter rushed to a single center. This, according to some scientists, is the mechanics of the process set in motion 13 to 14 billion years ago during the Big Bang. To paraphrase the Bible, from the point you left, there you will return. There are other, more extravagant versions. 
For example, the Great Attractor is sometimes associated with the theory of multiple universes, which do not touch each other and are radically different. But, if we believe this hypothesis, one day irreparable happened. The protective shell of our world frayed, and now through the attractor of galaxies gradually, but inexorably, drags into another alien world. But let us return from unlikely assumptions to realities. Everything tends towards the attractor, but where is it going? Astronomers from the University of Hawaii have determined the course of the super collapse. This place is called Chepli and is five sextillion kilometers from our galaxy. The titanic object is astounding. It is four times heavier than the great attractor and ranks first in size among known formations. For the local universe, the Shepley supergroup is the most powerful center of attraction and literally all objects of the observed cosmos move to it. A natural question arises, what will happen when absolutely all matter will gather in a point in some gravitational center? Will there be a new Big Bang and everything will start all over again? Or maybe the universal floodgates to another dimension will open, or something even more impressive will happen? While scientists are guessing, ordinary people also have time to think about it. Should we fear the great attractor? For us, our children, grandchildren, and other great, 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 great descendants, unequivocally, no. And then, who knows? Some scientists say that the Milky Way is never destined to reach the Great Attractor because dark energy will inevitably tear apart the Norma Cluster, the one in the heart of La Niakea, and the rest of the clusters will remain intact. But the latter does not apply to those galaxies that have already fallen or will soon fall into the jaws of the Attractor. First, it will dry them up depriving them of hydrogen reserves, and the end of such a galaxy is one. Death in total darkness, with no hope for reincarnation. Let thoughts of the Great Attractor brighten your day. Watch Habble, and may knowledge be with you.